Good morning, YouTube. Whoa! Actually, by the time y'all see this, it'll be afternoon. So, we are here for a very special collab. It is a multi-channel, huge collab. Um, I forgot to write down the hashtag. It's hashtag... Oh, it'll be, it'll be in the description. Yeah, the, dis mm, the title. It'll be in the title, I swear. I was talking to Caitlin while I was writing stuff down, and I got distracted. My kid does that to me. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Huge collaboration. It is in support of uh, Autism Month, Autism Awareness Month. And Miss Tracy, who is, her channel is Tracy and Chloe's Unboxings and More, I believe. Tracy is the mom. Chloe is the daughter. Chloe is on the spectrum. They are the two that have started this collab. They actually did it last year. They had such a huge success with it that they were like, let's do it this year too. Okay. There's a lot of us. Every Monday, I believe there's four or five of us who are getting together and doing a collab, which is so awesome. I stink and love it. Um, Miss Tracy was like, hey, does anybody want to join in? I'm like, heck yeah, sign me up. And I have to say right now, Miss Tracy, thank you so much. She has made this so easy, so relaxing. We can do whatever we want as long as we are talking about autism, which is what we're here for anyway. Any experiences we may have, I should probably, I'm doing a makeup look, okay? That's what I'm doing. And um, I probably should start doing my makeup. I'm going to do just a regular base face and I'm, I think I'm just going to do um, a liner today. I'm trying to see. Okay, let's use this one. We're going to, I'm not going to talk about the makeup. If you guys want to know what I'm using, I will leave it in the description box, but I'm just going to put some primer on. Um, so we can talk about whatever we, well, we're talking about autism, but we can do whatever we would like, a craft or mask Monday, because today's Monday. So there will be, I will list all of the channels for our collab today in the description. And those people are, of course, Tracy and Chloe. Um, we have Miss Mary over at Mary Catherine Loves Cats. Sorry, I just ate breakfast. I'm sorry. Um, Miss Teresa at Teresa Starship. Miss Kim, Kimmy at Kimmy's Happy Place. And Miss Amber, who is new to me. Am, am, I can't pronounce his name. And bazaars, DIY, and other stuff. And then myself. All of those channels will be in the description. So you guys have a link to their um, channels to watch their videos for today. The thumbnail that you all see Miss Chloe. She is the one that did that drawing, y'all. That is all her. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I need that on my wall. Because y'all know I have artwork from my daughter and the little boy down the street. They Last year they were doing um, a lemonade stand and he had this one picture that's up over here. That's for sale that he did, and I bought it for five dollars. 
he he was asking for two, but I gave him five. It was it's just it's so pretty. I just love it. So I I need that picture up on my wall. Um, I actually have a little bit of experience with autism. A little boy who I used to babysit. I'm not going to say any names or places or anything. Little boy I used to babysit. Um, met him at the apartment complex that we used to live in. And, uh, Caitlin went out to the backyard. This is when she was just tiny. Maybe like three. Um... And she's 21 now. We were out, out back and Caitlin was playing. And this is when I was a smoker. So I was out there too. Obviously she was only three. The little boy came down with his mom. And right away I could tell that he was, he was different. It's okay to say that. He wasn't just the way he acted. It was, it was, he wouldn't look directly at you. He was very hyper, like unusually hyper. And just his mannerisms. And his mom was super nice, super sweet. We was just chatting. As, as my friend Kim would say, we was stooping. On the stoop, you just sit there and on the stoop and you're stooping. Yeah, that's what we was doing because we were, she was a smoker too. We would have our coffee, we'd smoke, and the kids would be out back playing. Kim would come over with her two boys, and there was another neighbor. She would come down with her daughter. We were stooping, you know. We were all just sitting there drinking coffee, having a smoke. No, Kim, Kim, and the other lady didn't smoke. She gonna watch this video and be like, I wasn't smoking. She wasn't smoking. Okay, so concealer. So after a while of watching this little boy, just playing in the backyard. Well, it turns out that his mom and dad had overlapping work shifts. About, about a half an hour. So mom would drop him off with me. Because I agreed to babysit him. Like I said, it was a half an hour. And uh, just watching him and, 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 and having him in the house. And just something. Something was different. So I, I asked his mom and his dad. Is he, is he autistic? My dad used to be a speech pathologist. So, and he actually works for a school district now where he does, he helps, you know, other kids. You know what? I didn't want my sponge. Hold on guys. Helps to turn the overhead on. Okay. Where was I? Oh, I asked his mom if he was autistic. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. He's not. I'm like, um, okay. So then I talked to the dad. And uh, apparently the dad thought the same thing that I did. But as much as the mom loved loves her son she didn't want to she didn't want to see it she didn't want to hear about it. her son's he's fine so okay not my place I just babysat him and I just oh I'm not gonna lie it was hard you guys it was nothing I had ever encountered personally 
as a caregiver, it was hard. Um, like I said, he didn't, there was no eye contact. He was completely nonverbal. And he was, I want to say he was four. I think he was four. But he was completely nonverbal. Um, he wasn't potty trained. So it was very, it was challenging to say the least. I wasn't used to it. That's why I'm saying it was challenging. Especially when you put him next to Caitlin, who I also had at the time. It was, it was challenging. It was different. Which is, I'm not saying it was a bad thing. I kept watching him. He was a great kid. It was just, it was different. I, punishing him was so hard because as much as I would, how do I say that? Trying to punish him. He didn't understand. He didn't understand his punishment. So then it threw him into a fit, a rage, because he didn't understand. So after months of uh, talking to his dad, his dad finally went to the school system. And I don't know if he had the mother's consent or not, but he was dad. So, I mean, he had him tested. And yeah, he turns out he is very much on the spectrum. He is um, with the nonverbal type, which um, makes it very difficult. I, I, I don't know how I don't know how his his mom and dad did it on a daily basis but they did they did a great job with him so yeah that was my experience and I I kept babysitting him it was no big deal he was great with the other kids he played with all the other kids. Nobody treated him any different. Well, none of our kids did. None of our kids in our little group treated him any different. He was invited to all the things. Um, he came over to the house all the time, whether I was babysitting him or not. Dad would bring him out when all the other kids were out. So it wasn't, you know, it to us it was just it was just him. I'm not gonna use his name. Um, it was just it was just him. It's just who he is. No big deal, you know. It just meant that we had to try and do different things. Well then the mom left, and so he was just with his dad. So then my babysitting got, <laughs> it, it took on a whole nother life. And so I would have to get him ready for school in the morning, get him on the, the bus and stuff, because he did go to a different school. So then, then Caitlin did. That was a whole nother set of challenges because then it came to food, which was a whole nother experience. Um, there's things that like texture wise that he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't stand. So then we had to figure all of that out. Um, do I want a white base? I don't think so. I think it should be fine because this blue is... I'm going to just do a blue liner. Um, I am going back into the Unearthly Cosmetics 
and Chip O Gray palette into Lucy right here, Miss Lucy, which is Chip O Gray's baby girl. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's my my niece. Um, I Chip O Gray is a really good friend of mine. I am just going to oh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to just scrape a little bit of this pigment because I'm going to make it into a liquid liner. I just want to scrape a little bit of this off. I don't need a whole lot. I need to go on to Amazon and see about getting some actual um, colored liner. Ah, shice. That should be enough pigment. Okay. It's all over my table now, too. Let's see if I can save some of this pigment. Oh my God. Thank God for vinyl tables because this is now all over the place. This pigment is so dark. It's, very, it just, it's amazing. But not all over my pink table. No, no, oh no. <laughs> Today has been a Monday, y'all. I just lost all that pigment onto the table. It just blew off. Oh, my Lanta, hold on. Okay. That took a minute to clean up, but I have my pigment right there. I just take the eyeshadow, put it on the tray, and then take some setting spray. Um, I was gonna do something now, I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, I am gonna put primer on. <laughs> uh, this blue is highly pigmented. Highly pigmented. So I need to protect my eyes is what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put this on the lid. Anyways, so texture. Texture was a whole nother thing. I mean, there are so many, you know what though, this kid was smart as crap. I am not even lying when I tell you that. I swear there was things that he would do that he knew what he was doing, but he also knew that he could get away with it because a lot of people around him would let him get get away with it because he's just a boy. Um, but I don't think so. <laughs> Not today, sir. So we tried to treat him as if he was one of the other kids because he was. Things were done a little bit differently. He was given more time for tasks, for sure. I think the biggest change in that little boy's life was when mom left. Um, he, he does not do well with change. At all, and from what I understand, that's pretty uh, typical. So, apparently, after talking to Caitlin this morning, which I didn't know, my other daughter Shyla is on the spectrum, on the the less severe side than what the little boy I used to babysit different because I didn't even know that my my baby girl was autistic I didn't know that I do now but she's like I said you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell well actually it does kind of explain a few things nevertheless 
the little boy I used to babysit, he was nonverbal, clearly showed all the signs of autism. And once we knew, then it was a lot easier. Well, once we knew, we made changes. Well, I don't want to say it was easier. I've never done this before, so I'm going to try and do a liner, a winged line. Because I think that's all I'm going to do on my lids today. So I'm just going to start as if it was a line, like my liquid liner for my for my um, lashes. I'm gonna try and do that. I'm not good at liner, but I need to practice. So here we are. Here, oh, that was on the bottom. Here we are again. So bear with me. I'm just practicing my liquid liner and we just chatting. That's not bad. I gotta clean that up a bit. That's actually a really good color. I gotta clean that up right down there, but, and maybe a little up there. Maybe throw in a little bit of brown. But this is for you, Miss Chloe. I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but. Now, what I don't understand, because we were in the chat. Why is it, what am I at? Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, we're at 20 something, 22 minutes. Okay, let me finish this up and then I'll come back. Um, and uh, we'll finish this out because I don't want to keep you guys this long. Turns out that he's a, an amazing boy. He's doing great. He's healthy. He's thriving. He's with his dad. And it just, it was, it's amazing. He's amazing. Um, and I learned a lot. I learned so much. Okay, BRB. Okay, you guys, that took forever. This lash did not want to cooperate. So, Miss Chloe, sweetheart, this is for you. I hope you like it. Um, I enjoyed making this video. And uh, Pandora's got to go potty. So, um, I will leave everything I used in the description. Please and thank you. Go visit all of the ladies. There are a lot of us every Monday. Look for that thumbnail. Um, and just keep an eye out. And if you know anyone... Or if you yourself are autistic, this is your month, baby. This is your month. Enjoy. And please and thank you, don't treat someone with autism any different than you would treat anybody else. It's not contagious, y'all. It's not contagious. It's okay. All right, you guys. Until next time. See y'all later. Bye. Bye, Miss Chloe. Thank you, Miss Tracy.